everybody, Erica Sermon here from Peak Bucker Designs. I've got an adorable owls project for you um, featuring this adorable little owl. This is a free stamp set that you can get during Celebration 2023 um, with, a free, uh, with a $50 order. You get to pick something free and this is one of the options. It's my favorite. It's just very, very cute. I'm using a couple of other stamp sets too for the sentiment. I pulled in this new one called Best Family Ever. You can... Um, you know, decide what you want to say and who it's going to. Lots of different variations. And then for the little stars around him, I am using these little stars from Greatest Journey. All right, let's do our little inking background first. I have a piece of balmy blue that is four by, nope, three and three fourths by five. The measurements will be over on a PDF on my blog. Um, I've got a blending brush and some balmy blue ink, and we're just going to kind of make that dark cloud there in the middle. I kind of went off on my grid paper a little bit to get any hard uh, blobs that might come off, and I'm just going to start here in the middle, up towards the top, and rotate out, okay? And you can get too much ink real fast, so I kind of like to just go light and work you know, layer it up because if you get too much, you can't really do anything about it. You can keep adding, but you definitely can't take it away. All right, I want this to kind of look like a night sky, kind of dark. And I think that's pretty good. Maybe one more, right dark, right in the middle. All right, now let's take those stars and we're going to stamp them all around. Turn your stamp so that they're not all the same. I have cut out a branch. This is soft suede cardstock. This branch is from the Aspen Tree Dies, which are a carryover from the holiday catalog. And I'm gonna put this, we're just preparing our landscape for our little owl. I'm gonna put this right under, right, or, or towards the bottom, really, of that circle that I just created, right there. Now, let's stamp our sentiment. I'm gonna get my craft white and my two stamps. I also need white embossing powder and my embossing buddy. Your embossing buddy is going to release any static on there. So those little white powdery crystals won't stick where we don't want it. All right, so get your stamp inked. And one thing I like to do is to get my grid paper and kind of practice to see how straight it is. It looks like I need to make the, the back end go up a little bit. Um, if you have a stamp apparatus, this would be a great time to use it as well. All right, there's the friend. And now we've got happy birthday. I'm using craft white ink. Let's see, practice on your grid paper. Happy birthday, friend. And then I'm gonna take my white embossing powder, sprinkle that on, flick off any extras like that right there. And then bring over your heat tool. And it'll just take a few seconds to turn that embossing powder to activate it so that it's shiny. All right, now that we have that, I think we're ready to make our cute little owl. We're gonna use the bow tie owl and we're gonna stamp him in memento. Memento Black is the ink you want to use if you're going to use your Stampin' Blends, which I'm going to do. I'm going to use Crumb Cake Light and Crumb Cake Dark. I'm going to start with the light, and I'm going to go on the end side here of his face. Be very careful as you go around the eyes because you don't want to get any of that ink there in the white part of his eyes. Now you can use your bullet tip end or your brush. I prefer the bullet tip when I'm doing small areas like this. 
I have a better track record of staying in the lines when I use my bullet tip. When I use a brush tip, I get a little crazy. I like to use a brush tip when I have big swaths of color I need to fill in. But for this, I want that really fine point. All right, now I'm gonna come down here, add some color. You have so many options when it comes to this owl. I have seen them colored in every color under the rainbow. They don't have to be a regular owl color. You can do blues, purples, greens, yellows. I've seen it all. If you wanna make it match your paper that you're using, then definitely do that. Um, I just kind of stuck with neutral colors. This is soft suede dark. Okay. Now I'm gonna do his wings. This, this is a pretty dark color, so I'm not gonna really try to do a whole lot of shading because it is so dark. Let's not forget his cute little ears. All right, I'm gonna go back with my light and do that part right there of his ear. Oh, we forgot his tummy. Let's see, what did I do? No, you know what I did? Crumb cake for his tummy. And I left that pretty light. So this is dark crumb cake. So it looks like maybe I should have used light, but that's all right. That works too. All right, pumpkin pie for his little feet. and his bow tie. And his beak. All right, now what about his eyes? Well, we're using balmy blue, so let's color them balmy blue. Like that. And I'm gonna take my basic black stamp and write marker and make his pupils just a little bit darker so that they really pop out. All right, another really fun thing that you can do is grab your Wink of Stella and add some Wink of Stella to his eyes. That'll just give him a little bit of whimsy. Isn't he the cutest? All right, no dyes for this stamp set. As of now, who knows? Sometimes we get surprised with new sets, but I haven't heard anything, so I'm not saying that we're gonna get them, but a girl can hope. Cut off that extra cardstock, and then just go around the outside edge of your little owl, staying pretty close to that black edge. We are putting him on a colored background. So usually I say leave, you know, a pretty good white um, border because it'll blend in with a background. But because we're not mounting this on white, we're doing balmy blue. We're gonna need to stay pretty close to that black edge. Now I'm gonna show you a trick that you can do as well to kind of hide that edge as well. All right, just slow and steady. Turn your object with the opposite hand as you go. Round and round and round, We're finally to the end. Like that. All right, so see how we have some white here? I've trimmed a little bit of it off, but you can, let's see, bring it over the grid paper and get a, I'm gonna use my, it looks like dark crumb cake would look pretty good here. I'm just gonna kind of go around that edge and make it dark so that we don't really see that white edge. Okay, it's gonna just kind of blend all that together. You're gonna lose any of that white border that you have. There we go. All right, 
Now bring this back over and we need a couple of dimensionals. One and two. And we'll have him sitting right there on our branch. I'm gonna add in a few of our sparkles. These are the iridescent rhinestones. Make that little night sky sparkle. One more right there. All right, now all we have to do is put him on a card base. And I have a balmy blue card base. And I have cut a piece of our Dandy Designs designer series paper. This is another free celebration item that you can get. This one is free with $100. And it's a giant 12 by 12 stack of designer series paper. It's beautiful. I have cut it so that it's going to cover the whole card base. All right, so four and a fourth by five and a half. There will be a free PDF over on my blog. So if you click the link here on YouTube, I've got it a little bit long, so all you have to do is trim that. If you click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog, you'll find that free PDF. Under the third photo, there are three projects featuring the adorable owls over there today. So make sure you grab them. They are That PDF is free for you to print or save for future reference. All right, and we're gonna put him right there. And now you've got a super cute, adorable owl's birthday card. All right, everybody, have fun stamping. Thanks, bye-bye.